We're at G20 stakeholder engagement dinner right now at Fairmont Hotel, South Jakarta. And currently, uh, several ministers attended this event, including the finance minister, Sri Mulyani. And right now, we're going to have a little chat with her to talk about uh, Indonesia G20 presidency. Miss, uh, so right now, uh, Indonesia, as we all know, this year is the host for G20 presidency. And uh, currently, the Islamic finance play a significant role about Indonesia economic development. So right now, what is the role of ISDB regarding this? And also, what are the future between these two well, the Islamic Development Bank is uh, our development partner since 1974 and they've been uh, engaging with Indonesia using the country platform, uh, especially supporting in an area of development, education, health or even on the infrastructure. And I think uh, at the same time, Indonesia now as a presidency of the G20, we have a very important agenda, especially in uh, pursuing the development goals. Uh, of course, after the pandemic, that's very important. So uh, finance and health is going to be very important. And then this is the area which uh, Islamic Development Bank also pay attention. Uh, like uh, President Al Jazeera has already visited the uh, six area of the uh, health services, uh, which is potentially can be like upgraded. And at the same time, at the global level, we need to deal with this pandemic and how we should better prepare in the future when dealing with the pandemic through the global health architecture. So this is an area which is very important. The second one on the digital, digital technology and economic transformation. This is also the area in which Islamic development men also want to support and the area on a digital technology, digital uh, economy, and also in terms of the instrument and institution and regulation is going to be very critical. The third one in our sustainable finance, uh, because uh, resiliency as well as sustainability is uh, going to be very important when we are dealing with the climate change threat. A very important agenda in the G20 and also Islamic Development Bank put this as a very high priority. So uh, it's very good to see the alignment or consistency between the Islamic Development Bank uh, in supporting development goals of many of the member countries. Indonesia is among the most important both shareholder and member country of the Islamic Development Bank and at the same time also in supporting the G20 presidency agenda. So I think that's very, very well aligned. Okay. Thank you, Busri Mulani, for your time. Uh, that's all from us. So right now, Indonesia is currently host the G20 presidency and there will be a lot of events in the future before the leaders summit at the end of this year. Andira Putri and Andres Saputra for C Today.